Hey everyone, Mr. Sujano here. In today's video, we're going to go over the best of Microsoft at E3 2019. Let's get started. So Microsoft did a very, very awesome E3 show, I personally think. They started off with a lot of great news and they ended it with a lot of great news. I think one of the most important pieces of their E3 conference was Project Scarlet. If you're unfamiliar with this, it is the brand new Xbox that will be releasing holiday season of 2020. That means the current lifespan of the Xbox One and the Xbox One X is roughly a year and a half to go. And the current stats on the new Xbox, which is codenamed Project Scarlet, four times faster than the existing Xbox One X. Four times, it is able to do 8K video up to 120 frames a second. And now I'm not sure if that's 8K gaming or 8K video playing. So we'll wait for more details to come through unless I miss something. Now on top of that, on top of that, the new Xbox is going to be backward compatible across all Xboxes. So I don't know if that backward compatibility is going to be the actual physical disc. So if you have an old Xbox game, you can just plop it into the CD tray and, and play it. Or if it's going to be something similar like either streaming or the ability to download it and play it off of the Xbox store. And now there's apparently, rumors are already spreading, there's apparently going to be a high-end and a low-end version. We don't know those details that well at this time, and I'm sure Microsoft is going to come forward with more details on that. But what we do know is that it's going to come equipped with a solid state drive. The SSD will also function to support virtual RAM. And I am personally excited to see what Project Scarlet has to offer. I really think Microsoft is breathing new life into consoles at this point. Some people say consoles are dying. Some people say there's no point because you can buy a PC, which arguably is very true, especially with Microsoft and their transparency now that they're going to be pushing titles to both PC and to Xbox and, and kind of blurring the lines between PC and console gaming. However, building a PC for the price of this Xbox Scarlet, and let's just ballpark the price here. Let's say it's between six to $800 brand new. Uh, it might be high for a console in comparison, but on the same time here, at the same time, it may be very, very hard to build a PC that can perform in that budget. So that is one thing to consider. I mean, you could spend three, $4,000 on a computer, have a complete monster rig that's gonna blow the Scarlet out of the water. But if you're on a bit of a budget or just don't want to spend a couple grand on a PC, then it might be a viable option, but it's way, way too early to talk about pricing, way too early to talk about that. I'm just kind of excited. And now the second piece of information that I wanted to talk about was the new Elite Controller. This is called the Elite Controller Series 2. They're going to have adjustable tension thumbsticks, shorter hair trigger locks, wrap around rubberized grip on the controller, new thumbstick and paddle options, textured triggers, and three custom profiles. There's going to be Bluetooth connectivity as well as an internal rechargeable battery capable of up to 40 hours this controller is going to be a beast. And this thing is already up for pre-order. So it's retailing for $179.99 in the States. It's not currently available in Canada. I am gonna leave a link to this controller in the description below. And obviously the last thing I would like to talk about were the games. Microsoft announced a ton of different games. Some people weren't excited. I, for one, am very excited. So they announced things like Minecraft Dungeons. Minecraft Dungeons is not a console exclusive. It's gonna be available for Switch and PS4 and PC, which looks like a really fun Minecraft-ish co-op game. On top of that, they announced that Halo Infinite is going to be a Project Scarlet release title. They had Keanu Reeves on stage for Cyberpunk 2077. They announced a bunch of other games too. And a surprise announcement that I really liked was Flight Simulator. I'm really excited about Flight Simulator. I actually didn't know that they were coming out with one. So some of you did, which is really neat. Uh, I unfortunately wasn't privy to any of this information. I just either missed it or just 
did see it, but it didn't register. So I'm really glad that they are coming out with Flight Simulator. It's been a while since I've played Flight Simulator on a recent computer. The last one was, oh geez, it's way back. Was it Flight Simulator X, I think? So it's been a while and I'm really looking forward to it. And now if you're curious on the full list of games that Microsoft showcased at E3, I'm going to leave a link to this in the description below, but it's 2019.e3recap.com. So I definitely recommend checking this out. You can click on any of these panels here, take a look at the video, and you're off to the races. Anyways, that's all I've got for today. If you liked the video, leave a like. If you didn't like the video, leave a like, hit that subscribe button, check out my other videos. Let me know what you think about Microsoft's part in E3 2019. I'm curious to see what other people think of the presentation. I give it two thumbs up. We found out some console information, we found out some controller information, and we found out a bunch of game information. Thank you everyone, take care.